Chinese car manufacturers have been expanding their global footprint for quite some time. In nations like Brazil, brands such as Cherry and JAC Motors have become household names. This global penetration isn't limited to the automotive sector, as electronics firms like Xiaomi and Huawei have also garnered international acclaim. A standout among these is BYD, which stands for Build Your Dreams. Many regard it as a potential rival to Tesla, given its rapid ascent in the automotive industry. Boasting a significant market valuation, BYD is poised to challenge Tesla in the realm of electric vehicles. BYD has not only found success within China but has also made its mark in various countries, including Brazil. The company aims to provide top-quality electric vehicles at competitive prices, a viable strategy considering BYD's origins in the 1990s as a specialist in electric battery technology, including lithium-ion batteries. Today, BYD not only leads in sustainable energy solutions but has also set remarkable benchmarks in the automotive world, even outperforming Tesla in certain respects. Nonetheless, BYD's path has been fraught with challenges, including allegations of using forced labor in its manufacturing processes and criticisms regarding the quality of its vehicles. Yet, the statistics are telling. BYD is on the verge of accomplishing what many traditional car manufacturers have not, dominating the electric vehicle market. If BYD is not yet on your radar, now is the time to acquaint yourself with one of the Chinese automotive industry's most significant success stories. Despite facing numerous obstacles, BYD's growth trajectory continues, and it may well surpass Tesla in market dominance. China's electric vehicle sector is the largest globally, responsible for 60% of the world's electric vehicle production. In 2021, China exported nearly half a million electric cars, buoyed by rising sales in Europe and Southeast Asia. However, China's electric vehicle journey began not with cars but with two-wheeled vehicles. In the 1990s, gasoline-powered scooters dominated Chinese roads. Electric bikes were present since the 1980s, but early technology couldn't meet the urban transportation needs coupled with short battery life and high costs compared to traditional scooters. The 2000s saw a technological leap that spurred the adoption of electric bikes and scooters, supported by government initiatives aimed at reducing urban congestion and pollution. This experience with two-wheel vehicles laid the groundwork for the development of electric cars, which started receiving government support in the early 21st century. In 2009, China, already a leader in traditional vehicle manufacturing, embarked on an ambitious plan to accelerate its electric vehicle industry through state-sponsored programs. The strategy aimed to bolster the industry in cities receiving initial investments and to promote electric vehicle adoption among the populace. China provided subsidies to local manufacturers and offered tax breaks to consumers, injecting over $14 billion into the industry from 2009 to 2020. These efforts propelled the Chinese electric car industry to meet its growth targets over the decade. With a projected 30% increase in electric car demand, China sold more than 20 million electric passenger vehicles in 2022 alone. Amid this surge, BYD emerged as a front-runner, challenging Tesla's dominance. The question now is whether BYD can truly compete with Elon Musk's empire. Based in Shenzhen, BYD has risen to prominence as the world's leading electric vehicle manufacturer by sales volume, overtaking Tesla in 2022 with over 640,000 units sold globally. Founded in 1995 by Wang Chuanfu, BYD initially focused on rechargeable batteries before expanding into mobile device batteries and solar energy. The company ventured into the automotive industry in 2003, following China's investment push in electric vehicles. BYD's automotive foray was facilitated by acquiring a significant stake in the struggling state-owned Xi'an Qingchuan Auto Company. Despite initial skepticism about electric vehicles, Wang Chuanfu's vision, grounded in BYD's battery expertise, saw potential in this sector. However, this strategic pivot initially unsettled some investors, causing BYD's stock to drop. The company recommitted to electric vehicles in 2009, spurred by a Chinese government contract for electric buses, marking a significant step in BYD's journey in the electric vehicle industry. 
Since 2012, BYD has embarked on a pioneering journey into the realm of electric heavy-duty vehicles, marking its entry into the electric truck market. The company has successfully delivered more than 13,000 electric trucks across various nations, including the United States, Canada, Brazil, and Australia. While Tesla is focused on crafting luxury electric cars for a competitive market, BYD has strategically concentrated on serving its domestic market, particularly with utility vehicles. This focus has proven strategic, as China represents one of the world's largest automotive markets. BYD is optimistic that with continued investment in research and development, along with government subsidies for innovative companies, China could eliminate traditional vehicles by 2030. Despite its stronghold in the domestic market, BYD actively explores international opportunities, particularly in emerging markets. Europe, with its aim to phase out fossil fuel vehicles by 2035 due to European Union regulations, and Brazil, where BYD inaugurated its first fully electric bus factory in Campinas, Sao Paulo, in 2017, are key areas of interest. The electric buses produced in Brazil boast a range of 250 to 300 kilometers, suitable for daily city operations with nightly recharges. However, BYD's ambitions in Brazil extend beyond buses, the company aims to lead the Brazilian electric vehicle market, which remains largely untapped. Since 2021, BYD has introduced five car models in Brazil, Han, Tan, D1, Yuan Plus, and the plug-in hybrid song, and is in talks with the Bahia government to occupy the facilities left by Ford's departure in 2021. BYD plans to invest significantly to start producing fully electric passenger cars by 2025, aiming to become the premier electric vehicle manufacturer in Brazil. This move sets the stage for a potential rivalry with Cherry, another Chinese brand poised to enter Brazil's electric vehicle market. BYD's achievements in the automotive industry are noteworthy, particularly in China, where it leads the electric vehicle revolution, overcoming the industry's previous challenges of low quality and high recall rates. China, home to approximately 500 million drivers, is seeing a surge in electric vehicle popularity, with BYD offering competitively priced models. In cities like Beijing and Shanghai, where traffic congestion renders high acceleration less critical, BYD's Han Sedan, priced significantly lower than Tesla's Model Y, presents an attractive option. BYD's competitive edge extends beyond pricing, the company manufactures most of its car components, relying on Chinese suppliers, which enabled production continuity during the pandemic, unlike other automakers that faced parts shortages. For instance, Tesla had to suspend operations at its Shanghai Gigafactory, resulting in substantial production losses in the world's largest electric vehicle market. However, BYD faces challenges, including lawsuits that cast a shadow over its reputation. Accusations of poor quality, design theft from renowned brands, and unresolved government subsidy issues for undelivered electric buses have surfaced. Additionally, BYD has contended with environmental concerns and calls for greater transparency in battery recalls. Despite these challenges, BYD's profitability and diverse product range underscore its resilience. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, even acknowledged China's potential to produce a formidable competitor to Tesla, hinting at a future showdown between Tesla and BYD. To understand the dynamics of the electric car market further, including customer demand and production insights, watch the video currently playing on your screen, which delves into the advanced state of China's electric vehicle market. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for daily updates. Join us next time for more insights.